In this video, we're going to be taking a quick look at Adobe's new Preserve Details 2.0 image upsampling algorithm. Hi there, Michael Volshinovich here from Vibrant Shot. You can find me at vibrantshot.com as well as via the social media links below. So in this video, we're going to be taking a quick look at Adobe's new image upsampling algorithm, which they've labeled Preserve Details 2.0. And essentially, that's supposed to be an improvement over their original Preserve Details algorithm, uh, which came out back in 2013. So the new algorithm is part of Photoshop CC 2018, and it supposedly uses some of Adobe's new deep learning technology to more uh, intelligently upsample the image, and particularly when it comes to sharpening, um, so kind of how it handles sharpness in certain areas, um, be it a focus area or an out of focus area, as well as kind of factoring in uh, the details of the subject within the upsampling itself. So we're going to take a look at this at uh, in the context of two different uh, scenario. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as my source image and I'm going to do two things with it. The first is I'm going to reduce its size by 50% and then double it back up to get to the original size and we're going to compare how it looks um, you know as compared to the original which is obviously had its original size and also how it looks uh, doubled up in size using the original preserved details. And then in the second scenario, we're going to basically just take this image and we're going to double it in size and also see how well that works. So if we look at this image, I chose this one because um, I shot this on my phase one, which is a 50 megapixel medium format back. So it's nice and sharp and it already starts with a pretty good resolution. So it's um, around 80, 280 pixels or something like that. Um, so we're going to kind of manipulate this in a few different ways. And if we zoom into the eye at 100% here, we can see that it's nice and sharp in the areas within these sort of finer strands of hair and the lashes. Um, so I think it's a nice kind of area to test in. And we also kind of have some areas that are out of focus, some areas that are in focus. So we can see how it looks across that sort of spectrum. And then obviously we have some areas here that are completely out of focus as well. So if we go to our source two image here, this is where I've basically taken the image, reduced it by 50%, and then increased it by 200%. So I'm trying to basically just kind of get get down by half and then double to get to the original size using both of these different preserved details algorithms. So right now we've got our original enabled. So this is the image we were already looking at a second ago. And this is what happens after applying the preserved details original algorithm. And so you can see that it's really kind of heavily over sharpened. Um, the contrast around the lashes has really been brought out. It's almost like we ran a high pass filter over the image after doing the resize. And that's not particularly pleasing. Um, there's really a huge noticeable difference between this and this. Um, you know, so it's, it's tried to kind of recover some of that sharpness, some of that detail, but it hasn't really done so in a terribly pleasing way. Now, if however, we compare it to the new preserve details algorithm, uh, that's actually a lot closer to our original and actually pretty darn impressive. Uh, if we kind of toggle it on and off, you can definitely see a difference, particularly in this area here where these blonde, very, very thin strands um, aren't quite as sharp and defined. And obviously, you know, it can't work magic. We've lost pixels during the down sampling, so we can't really make that up uh, in the up sampling. But it's come pretty darn close to at least giving us something that looks very natural and very clean. And you know, if you're in a pinch and you need to print something really large, this is still pretty nice. And um, considering we're going up 200%, that is really a tall order to ask from an upsampling algorithm. You know, usually when we're upsampling in a realistic scenario, you're looking at something you know like 25%, 50%. Very rarely would we try to go up by 200%. And even then, this has done a pretty nice job of it. So if we scroll over here to areas that are out of focus, and then we toggle. Uh, the original one, you can kind of see areas within the hair here that have actually been affected. So it's trying to boost some of the contrast within there where it really doesn't need to because that area wasn't in focus anyway. So there's no need to enhance contrast. And the new one actually is quite intelligent in that sense where if we toggle this on and off, you really don't notice any difference between uh, the upsampled one and the original image in those out of focus areas. It actually looks pretty much identical. So you can tell that it's doing something intelligent within those particular areas and kind of seeing that, yeah, it's out of focus. So don't even bother doing much with that particular area. 
And similarly, if we look at kind of this patch of skin texture, uh, if we look at it with the 1.0 algorithm, it's really kind of sharpened it quite heavily. If we compare it to the original one, there's a lot of over sharpening going on. And again, it's not terribly pleasing. Whereas with the 2.0 algorithm, you can kind of barely notice uh, a real difference there. It's actually really impressive there too. I mean, sure, there is, you know, kind of finer points that you can notice between them. But again, considering a 200% increase in size, that is actually quite a nice job. So now we're going to go back to uh, this particular image where we have taken the original and doubled it in size. And so we've made a large image, absolutely massive. Um, if we look at the details here, we've got 16,560 pixels on the long edge. So that is a huge image. And this is using Preserve Details 2.0. So this is the new uh, algorithm. And if we look at it using the original one, you can again see that sort of over sharpening happening. It really looks kind of, you know, crunchy that again, that high pass filtered kind of look. And you know, it's not terribly pleasing, whereas this one is a lot more sort of restrained, particularly if we back it off to you know, 50% here, we're sort of looking at it within this sort of original view. Uh, it looks very clean here. You know, there's really nothing overly crunchy or kind of unpleasant happening. Again, toggling that on and off, this really definitely feels kind of over sharpened. So again, 200% increase there on the original one still looks really nice, clean and natural. And one thing I noticed here in this particular test was that uh, this particular area didn't handle didn't get handled so well if you look at the cache light uh, with the octa here you look at the actual strands of lashes uh, compared to the original one the original one's very sharp very crisp but the um, upsampled one not so much and, and what I think it actually is is the down sampling process of using the bicubic smoother interpolation to reduce the size and then bring it back up I think something in the down sampling actually um, affected this area quite heavily because if we look over here and this is zoomed out at 50 percent you don't really notice that it still looks nice and sharp within here it's not like it really has lost much and if we zoom back into 100 it's still nice and crisp nice and sharp so I don't really think that it's the fault of the 2.0 algorithm I think it's something in the actual downsampling so this is why it's nice to run two different tests to kind of see how it handles um, that particular case so overall uh, pretty impressive stuff I mean it, this is 100 percent uh, right now and if we zoom out we're looking at you know a bust up portrait so the fact that we can kind of get that particular range is pretty impressive so overall I think definitely a big improvement over the original algorithm at this point there's really no reason to use the original algorithm and if you don't have 2018 and you find yourself doing a lot of resizing it's definitely worth the upgrade now do note that there's no point in using this in down sampling I've tried to use this to reduce the image size 50% and it, for whatever reason, over sharpens much like the original preserved details algorithm did. And so it's, it's kind of funny that, you know, it's an intelligent algorithm, but it's only intelligent um, going up, not so much going down. So for downsampling, you're still better off using something along the lines of the bicubic smoother interpolation. It just creates a more pleasing effect than using the 2.0 algorithm does. So hopefully you found that quick little comparison useful and uh, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel below so you get future updates just like this one. We'll see you next time.